Today we're going to talk about what we can expect from Expansion 1 in Godfall, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. If you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like Godfall and other gaming content, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on a video. So, on November 11th, 2021, we got the Primal Update or the Primal Content Update. In that update, we were given tons of fixes to the game, PS5 and PC alike. Then there were a lot of new additions to the game as well. If you want to know everything that was added to the game that you may not already have noticed, I will put an annotation at the top right of the screen to a video that I had already made on the Primal Update. But let's move on and look towards the future and talk about what we can expect from Expansion 1 of Godfall. Now, real quick, I have to put a few things out there. The Primal Update was a free update. Expansion 1 will not be a free update. From this point on in the video, I will refer to Expansion 1 as E1. This update will be aimed at those who either bought the Deluxe or Ascended Edition versions of Godfall as well as those who bought the expansion separate from the actual game. But that does not mean that the patches in the QOL improvements or the quality of life improvements will not be available to free players. So let's start everything off with when will E1 for Godfall be released? Well, it's scheduled to be released in Q2 of 2021. Q2 is April, May, and June. If Counterplay Games sticks with what they did with the Primal update, then we can look to see E1 around mid-May, but there has not been any confirmation by the devs just yet. This could be because of communication between Counterplay Games who are the developers of Godfall, and Gearbox, who is the publishing company of Godfall. Then again, the whole coronavirus thing doesn't really help speed up development due to almost everybody working from home. Since this will be Godfall's first expansion, we have a lot to look forward to. I wanna go over what we may see in the expansion, and no, I do not have an inside man in either of the companies but it would be nice to see if I am right in some of my speculation. So for E1, I could see a new Godfall application tile, which may hint at a new area. By new area, I mean a new realm. As of this video, we currently have an earth, water, and air realm, so I could see a new fire realm added to the game, but not just that. With a new realm comes new story missions, new boss encounters, new hunt missions, and a new material to farm for gear. And with new material comes new gear. And I'm not saying new gear as in recycle gear at a higher power, primal gear. Hmm. I mean like gear that hasn't been introduced to the game yet. This includes weapons, life stones, rings, charms, amulets, banners, and even augments. And if we follow the ranking difficulty of how Godfall has its encounters, we have a normal story boss fights, hunt missions, ascendant, and then exalted. In the air realm, the highest tower is the ATOT, which is also the ascendant tower of trials. I feel that if we got a new fire realm, we would get an exalted tower of trials or ETOT. Just in case this does happen, you heard it here first. With the primal update, came the Ascension tab, and while I don't think we will get an Exalted tab, I also feel like the devs will expand on the Ascension levels in bonuses and in powers. However, I do think that the max level cap for Godfall will go from 50 to either 55 or 60. 55 isn't really that high of an increase, but 60 is. Changing the max level cap from 50 to 60 means that we will have a ton of new things to do inside Godfall when E1 is released. Players who did not purchase or do not purchase E1 may be locked out of the level cap, or if not locked out of the level cap, the new realm will be locked out, which means that they won't get access to all of the new items that will be available to everyone who actually bought the expansion one. With the new realm and Exalted Tower of Trials, or ETOT, we can see gear that is stronger and way more powerful than Primal Gear. And like Primal Gear, 
the new E1 gear will also have a distinct border around them so you would actually know that yes, this is expansion one gear. Now normally in games, when it comes to an expansion versus an update, an expansion normally comes with a new story. And when it comes to the story for the new realm, I can see one of three scenarios. Like any good Aladdin sequel, and I'm talking about the cartoon, not the live action movie, the bad guy comes back for revenge. So we could see a stronger, more powerful Macros trying to reclaim the throne with some unknown power that he has found in the Fire Realm. Or the second scenario is now that Macros is gone, there could be a coup d'etat where others are trying to take over the throne and gain a position of power and our character has to stop them. Or the last scenario is that there could be a new up and comer or someone who was locked away is now on the scene and challenges us for the throne. At this point, anything could happen for the reason as to why we need to go to a new realm. But for expansion two, I do possibly see a void realm. And think about that. And because of this whole void realm thing that may happen in the future, I am now on the fence on whether the devs will give us a new valor plate for E1 or not. There is a possibility that it could happen, but I see a need for a new power to come in Expansion 2 with a bigger and badder threat. And I know, I know that I have said in a previous video that I do think that a new Valor play will be coming to the first expansion, but now thinking about it a little bit more, it may not happen. But skins for the current Valor plates may happen, and I really hope that it does. And with the release of E1, I do possibly see a system update with the armory, with making it easier to find specific items, but I actually have a whole concept for another video, and when that's released, you guys will know. I can see us actually getting additional merits that do not count as the original for the Platinum Trophy though. But now, let's go over the things that I think won't come with the Expansion 1, and we are going to start this off with a heartbreaker, matchmaking. Matchmaking will not come with E1, or personally, I don't think it will ever come to the game at all, and here is why. It will literally come down to connection strength or issues. You may have the best connection in the world, low pings, no spikes, but what about everyone else? Not everyone has great ISPs or fiber optic where they live either. And with matchmaking, you will always run into that one guy who is always flying around the map, not using an ability, but it's because of poor connection, or that guy who swears he has amazing internet speeds, but is actually running off a Wi-Fi extender that's in the McDonald's bathroom, or you will get that guy who thinks Wi-Fi is like diamonds and refuses to use an ethernet cable because his Wi-Fi is better. So. Maybe, just maybe, matchmaking isn't a good idea. Then on the other hand, matchmaking could be a good thing depending on how it is actually done. Let me explain. Matchmaking could work on a connection-based system. What this means is that you will be matched up with people with the same type of connection as yours. We can take this even further with a region-based matchmaking system where you can only be matchmade with someone in your region. I don't know, there are tons of different ways for the devs to actually do this or not. If matchmaking came to Godfall, I'd be happy for those who actually wanted it. If matchmaking came to the game, great. If not, I'm not going to really worry about it because when there is a will, there is a way. And if you really want to play with other people, you will find a way. One thing that I do know and I'm pretty sure many people can agree is that we as a Godfall community do not want Godfall to turn into Destiny 2, where it's just recycled content over and over again. That gets boring and nobody wants to do the same content that they have already done. Better yet, Counterplay Games can hire me and I will keep things in this game alive with new ideas constantly coming out for each expansion. Not only that, we also don't want this game to die as fast as Anthem or The Division 2, let alone have any of the issues that they have had, which almost made the game unplayable. Now, I'm not gonna lie, yes, Godfall has had a lot of issues, but from release till today, a lot of issues have been fixed. It's not perfect, but it is getting to be better. So, 
Let me know what you guys think about these concepts coming to Godfall. And let me know what you guys think will come with the first expansion of Godfall down in the comment section below. Also, the Everything Godfall Discord is now live and growing by the day. It's a place where PS5 and PC Godfall players can come together to have fun, do some LFG, get detailed information about the game, watch videos, see character builds, and if you are a Godfall content creator, you can post your videos and when you stream in order to gain more exposure. We have already hit over 100 members in just under a week. So it's definitely growing and fast. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video and I will see you guys in the next one.